World Horse Welfare's Make a Noise campaign aims to end the long-distance transport of around 100,000 horses to slaughter in Europe every year. As a matter of urgency, we want to see rigorous enforcement of the current law that requires individual stalls and the horses to be fed, watered and rested off the lorry during journeys. The sad reality is that this law is routinely flouted, resulting in severe dehydration, exhaustion and serious injuries. We have an opportunity to end the long distance transportation of horses for slaughter with a review of the law. World Horse Welfare believes that the current law doesn't go far enough to prevent suffering and we are seeking an introduction of short finite journey limits. Our supporters have shown real commitment to this campaign but we also need continued action in order to ensure that these key issues are put on the political agenda. Head of Campaigns at World Horse Welfare, Emma Cook, recently met with MEPs Neil Parrish and Brian Simpson, who consider that this is an important issue to raise with the European Commission. So Brian, can you tell me why you support the Make a Noise campaign to end the long distance transport of horses to slaughter in Europe? Well, I think the, the Make a Noise campaign is, is a campaign that needs to be lodged at this moment in time because we're not happy, certainly I'm not happy, with the uh, present regulation and the enforcement of the present regulation. So therefore, I think it's right and proper that we now start to put the pressure on to ensure that what legislation we have is enforced and then beyond that, look at how we can improve the present legislation to ensure that the the suffering and cruelty that is clearly going on, not only with horses but with other livestock, is, is put to an end. At the end of the day, you know, we're, we're animal lovers and we want to see uh, any kind of suffering to animals uh, cut out. So that's why I think the Make a Noise campaign is important and that's why I think we, we need now to, to kind of ratchet that campaign up and make people aware of what is going on. So the British government has openly supported a move to end the long distance transport of animals to slaughter. How do you think they can use their influence over other EU member states? Well the obvious way they can use their influence is by bringing it up at the Council of Ministers uh, in both the Agriculture Council and in the Transport Council. So I would want the UK government to become the leading government in the Council of Ministers on this issue so that you know that we can point out and show those governments where we feel enforcement is not being carried out properly where we know that in certain countries there's uh, no regulations whatsoever with regards to uh, looking after the welfare of animals the UK government set itself at the heart of Europe at the center of Europe on this important issue so could you tell us why you support World Horse Welfare's Make a Noise campaign? Because I've seen what has happened in Europe. I've seen, especially from Eastern Europe, a lot of horses coming through to Italy in particular, where they're travelling under horrible conditions. Of course, they should have separate stalls, and they haven't. A lot of horses are, are, are pushed down and trampled on during the journeys. They're loaded badly, and they're not, being, they're not stopping for proper watering uh, and rest on the way. So I know there's a problem. So how would you sum up the political climate amongst your European colleagues on this particular issue? I would suggest to you that it's got much better. I mean, I've been in the European Parliament now for nine years, and, and when I first got there, I was talking about animal welfare, and it was very much a sort of um, a sideline issue. But I think it's much more a mainstream issue now. Uh, certainly when we've been getting resolutions on horse transport, on animal welfare, we've been able to get over half the Parliament sign these. So there's a lot of politicians in the Parliament signing up to better welfare. Now, what we've got to do is make sure that translates into member states uh, and governments actually adhering to the rules that are in place and then look at getting even tighter rules than we've got now. That's what's necessary. But in the meantime, we've got to get the, those that are in place properly implemented by member states. There is a problem, however, in Spain, where the, local, the central government has passed the legislation, but the regional and local authorities are not adhering to it. There's a lot of cruelty going on, a lot of terrible loading of horses, wrong type of lorries, uh, very hot uh, and not proper air conditioning. So we've got a lot of things to do, and, and I think world uh, horse welfare is right to, to really bring this pressure on now. 
I think uh, our public in Europe, all across Europe, actually demand better welfare and want to see our animals treated better. And so therefore, we will in the Parliament, the European Parliament, encourage the Commission. And I, I think the Commission will come forward with better rules. World Horse Welfare has launched a petition asking for rigorous enforcement of the current law and the introduction of short journey limits. Please sign it at www.makeanoise.co.uk or telephone World Horse Welfare on 01953 498 682. These horses need you to make a noise on their behalf. <laughs>